Okay, targeted individuals. Um, I've been doing some research online anyway, but I've come across um, the latest meme or whatever they call it that were basically that has become part of popular culture. It's called synchronicity. If you look through my videos, I've been describing this exact phenomena yeah I never had a word I never had a word um, just like Mandela effect I was describing it in my songs but I never had a word that I can t say to someone and they know exactly what I'm going on about uh, I made up I made up a few terminologies but but now this word synchronicity I'm like finally I have a word so, because every time I do a video, I feel I have to explain um, what synchronicity is. If you look at my videos on intention, impulse, and um, there's a third part to it, but I always uh, remember it. Intention, impulse, attention. Yeah? So, um, that's talking about synchronicity. So basically, synchronicity is when your attention is grabbed to something. But the way they co they've coined it, and they're going in, in a different direction because they're not targeted individuals like uh, me and you. They're looking at it as um, when a series of coincidences happen that mean something to you. But I go a step deeper than that. I say, well, synchronicity to me is when your attention is being drawn to something that what, could be coincidence or could be conspiracy, or could just be um, paranoia, the game of life. If you look at my videos on the game of life, that's what I'm saying there. When I was designing the game of life, I didn't have this word, synchronicity. Yeah. So, um, in terms of spiritual warfare, you have to look at the very beginning, Yeah, where your attention is grabbed. Yeah, why why do you choose to see the coincidence in the first place for those who are using modern memes memes? Why do you choose to see the coincidence in the first place? What prompts you to um see the coincidence? Attention grabbing. Yeah, now this can be I don't want to ruin it for them, but um, because if you're not a targeted individual, <laughs> you won't understand. We've gone beyond synchronicity, and we're actually involved in spiritual warfare here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, what grabs your attention to that coincidence? Yeah, it could be someone would have done NLP, and another person would have done something. So, somebody that does NLP tells you to to watch out for this. Yeah, and then somebody brings that and your attention is grabbed to it yeah so uh, it could be NLP or it could be spiritual yeah when it's NLP you when you when your attention is grabbed to a, a coincidence the first thing you do is say right um, game of life <laughs> yeah uh, just before I saw that did I look at anyone uh huh and what were they doing did they look somewhere else? It's a bit like uh, hypnotic regression or something. <laughs> if if, if your if your mind is tight, it's like that. So um, the other day I had synchronicity where somebody, when it happened, um, I, I just said right just a few seconds before I noticed that happening. Did I look at anyone? And I had looked at someone, and they looked at that person who did something that grabbed my attention. Yeah. So this is gang stalking. This is a gang stalk method um, that brings about co um, co what is it? synchronicity, whatever crap you call it. <laughs> yeah, that there's gang stalking that brings about synchronicity. That's one element. Then it could just be that your brain is wired up to to just basically um, get attract get re get attracted to um, trigger words. Your 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 hormonal balance might be off and your body has decided to attract itself to trigger words um, in order to bring about certain emotions and feelings to release those hormones that are that is lacking so you 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 could be doing it to yourself that's paranoia that's the second card on the game of life but 
if you're a targeted individual, if you eliminate the first card and the second card, sometimes there's a third card where it's like it's just a coincidence. There's no such thing as it's just a coincidence. This is where the modern meme of synchronicity um, fits in. But there's the other two that I never consider because obviously it's a uh, popular culture meme and they don't want to encourage people <laughs> to, to, to see those, those sides where it could be conspiracy using neural language programming or neuro linguistic programming or it could be paranoia. They don't want to draw attention to the neural language programming because that's what they're going to be doing to bring about synchronicity. You say they're, they're selling it now, but for us it's a serious thing. Yeah? People are using NLP to grab our attention to things which are making us feel targeted. It's a serious thing. Yeah? It could be a money-making thing for you. That's all good. That's all good. You know? Make your money. That's all right. But remember, there's people who, for whom this is some serious shit. Yeah. So, um, I, as a targeted individual, my aim is to actually share my experience and also help other targeted individuals. You're going to come across this meme, synchronicity is called. Yeah. It's going to be describing what you're going through, but they're not going to mention the fact that people do neuro linguistic programming to bring about synchronicities. They're not going to mention that. Yeah. So if you're going to be swayed by that belief, that's all right. At least you stop being targeted. If they can make money from you, they'll stop targeting you. <laughs> yeah. If they can't make money from you, then, then you still remain a target. Yeah. So that's one way out. If you might, you, if you do believe in it, then, you know, good luck to you. At least you won't be targeted anymore. <laughs> yeah. You'd be, you'd be taking the blue pill, but I don't know. They say that once you've taken the red pill, once you know what's real, how, do we, how it is, you never, you can never not know. Once you know, you can never go back. You can never take a blue pill after taking the red one. Yeah. So synchronicities to me um, also involves the NLP aspect and the paranoia aspect. Don't forget the paranoia aspect. But they they are only concentrating on the spiritual as aspect, which I will discuss now. So the spiritual aspect, that's when you start, that's, you got to know that God exists. He will speak to you through the synchronicities. That's how you know God exists. Through the synchronicities, he will speak to you. Yeah? What you call synch At least you have a word now. You have a word. You know how long I've waited to try to deliver the message of Jesus and, and, and God to you. Do you know how long I've waited? Yeah? But every time I have to chat to you, I have to start from the beginning to explain synchronicity. Yeah? So you get the theme of what I'm trying to say to you when I say that God speaks to people. That's how God speaks to people. Yeah? That's how I know that God spoke to me. Well, I saw Jesus the other day. <laughs> I'm not telling you no lie. It was a synchronicity event. Now I have a word. I can deliver you that. Uh, I can deliver to you the gospel. Synchronicity event. I don't know what it was, but I was just sitting there and the sun shone onto a wall, yeah, and the sign of a cross was there. <laughs> this sign of a cross started to move as the sun moves, it sh moves. The shadow, which it was forming, it was actually a shadow on the, uh, on the wall, actually, started to move. Yeah? I don't know what caused it. Maybe things just coincidentally form the cross so that when the sun shines over them it forms the shadow on the wall synchronicity i was just drawn to it yeah you see that's one experience now if you're drawn uh, there's other experiences also um i got i got to realize that yeah <laughs> yahweh is god and i'm Ra. so <laughs> um uh and then i had apparitions yeah, so this has been a turbulent time for me. But those synchronicities um, excited my consciousness, which is a good thing for my body. So it was healing. <laughs> you see you see how God works. <laughs> um, so um, <laughs> at least you got synchronicity. Now that's how God talks to us. Yeah, next time somebody says to you, God talk to me. Yeah, ask them, yeah, how? If they describe what 
is apparently synchronicity. You see what I'm talking about. You've even noticed that that happened. So how could you deny when somebody says that they heard the word of God? Yeah, it's through the synchronicities. Yeah, and you the, the most prime example of synchronicity is that film um, Final Destiny or the series of it. Where events start to happen and you think that's up, that, that God communicates like that as well. But other demons communicate like that too. Yeah? That's why it becomes spiritual warfare. Somebody could be trying to tell you that they're threatening you through using synchronicity. Yeah? You see that? That's when it becomes spiritual warfare. Yeah? Jesus will always be there. Yeah? And you also see him through. You see, Jesus... <laughs> Yeah, was the way nature and the synchronicity of events happened in such a way, there was synchronicity of events that happened in such a way that anyway, Jesus came. Yeah, so the synchronicity um, of events is what brought Jesus Christ. Now you understand the Immaculate Connect Conception now that you've understood synchronicities. Yeah, so now we can start to talk to you, those of us who are true Christians. Well, I'm not Christian. Those are true Christ followers or those who understand the, the, the word of, of Jesus. Yeah, but for me, it's not really about how we came or whatever. But if you were to think about it, synchronicities explains that. Yeah, so um, just coincidentally, 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 bam, there he is. Yeah, and even scientifically, you can explain a process where you have... Um, uh, they, they are girls born with Y chromosomes and they are eggs which have extra chromosomes in them. <laughs> and they are animals which can sit there and no a female animal sits there like I think um, reptiles do it, I think alligators and sharks do it as well. Where it has an egg and no man come near, no, no male shark comes in, near it and it reproduces. Yeah, uh, it's very rare in mammals. I think they might have observed a, a, a rat um, or something like that that produced an egg and no one mated with it and it, it sprung out a life, a clone of its mother. Yeah, so there are times, um, these are different types of genesis <laughs> where girls develop Y chromosomes. It's a disease, I don't know what it's called. Yeah. And then there are times when you have hermaphroditic eggs with um, extra what extra sex chromosomes. So, and there are times when animals um, have egg cells that spark into life by themselves. Yeah. So, <laughs> but that would be synchronicity if we have if those three things happen. That would be synchronicity. Yeah. So. <laughs> So Jesus could have come that way. But even if you do say that, it would say you coincidentally had a woman who had a Y chromosome, who coincidentally had a hermaphroditic egg, which coincidentally <laughs> sparked itself to life. It will still be the God. <laughs> it will still be God that did it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so but I, and I try not to think about Jesus' creation because that's not the point. It's about the, the word of Jesus. But So when Jesus died... Uh, he went to the other world, but that's how he came. So now he's <laughs> he's uh, on the dead side, right? But he's a living spirit because he he operates in um, the same way God does in synchronicities. Yeah. So, but he's on the other side, though. <laughs> so you mean the dead side also know Jesus? But anyway, yeah. Um, so, <laughs> so uh, I just wanted to discuss. Um, uh, this um, synchronicity meme and how, what it means for us in spiritual warfare. So um, when you have um, spirits dead or alive <laughs> that choose to threaten you through synchronicity, yeah, and then you have to separate that from when you see Jesus Christ, he's also going to be in synchronicity, but it's not the same message. It's not the same thing. It's not somebody who's going to be threatening you. It'll be a different kind of message. Yeah, and then you also see Yahweh who also be in synchronicity. Yeah, and you are forever raw. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, 
So as targeted individuals, uh, bear in mind that there is they are now starting to admit to what we're experiencing, experiencing, but they're trying to make money from it. Um, um, so at least um, they've acknowledged uh, some of the things we're facing here. Yeah. Um, so to me, this is um, uplifting uh, because, you know, where I would have been called crazy. Yeah. For saying the things I did. But when you use a word like synchronicity and then you look at my videos, do your research on synchronicity now and go back through my videos. Doesn't it make sense?